this is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and today we're going to look at some demanding gaming on the HP NV14 Spectre. Now this guy has an Ultrabook set of brains inside and Intel HD 3000 graphics, so don't expect too much from gaming, but nonetheless we're going to try Skyrim and Fear 2 and see how it does. First we're going to take a look at Fear 2. Fear 2, well it's a demanding game, it's kind of a pig even though it's an older game. We're going to test it out at native resolution, which is 1600 by 900 as you can see here. And for our advanced settings, we have, well, pretty much everything set to be minimum, except for effect detail and particle bouncing. So let's see how it goes. With those settings, it'll look pretty nice. Let's see if it plays well. So you can see we're running at about, well, 20 fips right now, according to Fraps, but it doesn't never play that badly. Audio is pretty nice for gaming. So it's actually really playable. change our resolution to 1280 by 768 and you can see we're up to 30 frips now. This is really doing much better than I would have expected with it. Intel HD 3000 integrated graphics. Again, there is no dedicated graphics option with the NV14 Spectre. After we're done playing Fear for about 10 minutes, you can see we've just launched Core Temp to monitor the CPU. It's up to about 40, 54 degrees centigrade, as you can see, for our maximum temps of 55, and it's already cooling down to 48. That's unusually cool for, for that kind of gaming. Very nice there, HP. This is not a hot running machine, and you can hear the fan is not roaring hideously loud. So quite different experience from the more powerful NV15 and 17 with dedicated graphics and full Core i5 and i7. CPUs. Now we're going to check out Skyrim. That's a demanding and very recent title, and let's take a look at our settings here. Teeny tiny type, but you can see we're going at 1280 by 720 resolution, and we have anti-aliasing and antistrophic filtering both turned off, and we are running at low detail. Trust me, that's about all we can shoot for here. We've tried higher settings, and now we're going to play. Now we're in Skyrim, having a little fight here. The dog is really helping us out. Oh no, my horse! Frame rate was closer to 30, now we're in the mid 20s. It's still quite playable though. Pretty surprising for something with Ultrabook internals and again, Intel integrated graphics only here to count on. But this is actually pretty darn playable at a reasonable resolution. No need to drop down to 800 by 600, although it actually didn't even offer us that option with this display panel. Unless we want to change the aspect ratio. A little high-end gaming on the road, it's actually possible with this 14-inch Ultrabook with a pretty glass lid. Again, this Ultrabook has a 14-inch 1600 by 900 display, a 1.6 gigahertz Intel Core i5 ULV CPU, there is a 1.8 gigahertz Core i7 option. Again, these are ULV CPUs, ultra low voltage, not the full mobile Core i5s used on bigger notebooks. You get 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM and 128 gig SSD. And now wandering around in our pretty environment here, we're actually up to the mid 30s for FIPS. So there it is, two fairly demanding games, actually one very demanding game, Skyrim there, playing passably well on the 
HP NV14 Spectre. Don't forget to watch our video review of this notebook and subscribe to our YouTube videos.